Whoa, look how good this looks. Okay, now we're actually spawning from up top. Okay, and here, wow, that map is so vibrant. Look how good the graphics look though. I like this map. Okay, overall, the map looks fantastic. Like, I think he actually did a really good job. Nick A30 absolutely loved the post-processing volume that I did in this tutorial. So I'm gonna teach you all the steps to make this perfect vibrant map just like I did that impressed him so much. Hey guys, welcome back to another great tutorial. Today we're gonna to be talking about changing the look of your map. So we're gonna be going through how to create this awesome look and feel for your map using something called the post-processing volume. So we're gonna dive in that today. You're gonna to see here, I have a pretty unique look on my map. It's very, very subtle, but it is there. So we're gonna talk about that. We're gonna go through the different types of post-processing and uh, let's just get right into it. So, so guys, before we get started with this tutorial, I definitely want you to check out Micro Royale. That's the map right here. You're gonna see that I did all the post-processing for this map already. I'll put the code there at the top for you to check out. So drop into this map, see everything that I've done here. If you wanna learn how to make a map just like this one, I also made a tutorial called How to Make a Battle Royale in UEFN. Check it up on top there or in the description below. So in Fortnite itself, you can go to lighting and you can go right to post-process and Epic Games actually gives you some post-processing effects to start out with that are already done for you. You could do film noir. You could just place it over like this, see if you like it. If you don't, you can just go back into the drawer, put it back. We have horror movie, which gives you this kind of like old school 70s slasher vibe. Pretty cool. Neon party. So it kind of gives you that neon effect. PP Oak, which just kind of gives you this artsy, like paint effect almost. Old Cartoon, I like this one, it heavily uses vignette. Retro, you've probably seen a lot of these guys in the uh, official Fortnite 1.0. This is just how you get to them inside of UEFN. Sepia, so you could do like the old school Western. Spooky, so this once again, just a very blown out look. The thing to know is you can actually take any of these as a starting point. So you could drop in like old cartoon. You can actually edit it. It will show up right here under PP old cartoon. Then you go under post process at the bottom. And here is where you can kind of go through and make some of those changes. Uh, maybe you do want this look, but you want it even darker. You're doing like a horror map. So you could do stuff like that. Look through all the different intensities of each thing, see what works. Some things may not even change anything whatsoever. You can go in here, change your strength of detail so you can get this really cool looking detail with the strength or go with a muted look. So you can edit the, the templates, which is really cool. I'm just gonna undo. I went ahead and undid all of that. I don't wanna do any of that. So what I'm gonna do is go up here to the plus symbol and then I'm gonna choose on visual effects, post process volume, and then you're gonna go ahead and click and add that. When you click and add it, it's going to add a volume for you. I already created one. So I have some settings that are already chosen for me, but we're gonna go through some of this. There is a very important button you do need to click, however, and that is right here, unbound. This is off by default. So this is what my map looks like with no post processing volume. This button here says, apply it to the entire map. So I apply it, you can see how much more saturation and richness there is on my map. A lot of that is coming from color grading. And then under saturation, I have my saturation up from one to 1 1.3. So you can see that does a lot. I have my contrast up from one to 1 1.24. That also does a lot. Local exposure is another one I like a lot. Uh, detail strength, probably one of my favorites. I just turned it up a little, but if you go all the way, you can see how insane that looks. That's detail to the max. And if you were to go to the other way, it creates that like cartoony anime look. So you can play around with that. I like it right about here, but you can see with it off, that's how my map looks. And then just with a subtle apply, those three things are going to be my, uh, kind of my look that I'm going for. I suggest you play around and find a look that is suited to you as well. If you think I'm doing a good job, go ahead and like and subscribe to this video. It means a lot, guys. Uh, it goes a long way, so thank you. The one setting I personally would stay away from is Bloom. I love Bloom, I think it's cool. 
Uh, if you set Bloom to like a really high threshold, you get this kind of dreamy effect when you up Bloom really high like this. And I kind of like it. But PS5 players and console players are telling me that it looks so blurry on PS5 and on Xbox that it's unplayable. So I just lean in the direction of having this off um, just because Bloom in general on console looks really bad. But there are some really cool ones that you can play with. Uh, you can do other things like a vignette. I have a vignette on here. You can make it more extreme. I actually have one, it's pretty subtle. If I turn it off, you'll see. That is it for a quick down and dirty post-process volume and how to use it. I will get into more detailed tutorials later on how to add your own effects to the post-process volume and basically create a look that looks nothing like Fortnite whatsoever. But for now, we're gonna keep it simple. Thanks again for tuning in, like and subscribe, and until next time, take care.